Hello everyone. Welcome to The Writing Cabin with Tara Benner. I'm fantasy author Tara Benner and this is my cabin. We all need to escape into story from time to time. So come on in, sit down by the fire, pour yourself a nice cold gin and tonic, and let's talk books. Now, before we get started today, I want to take a quick moment to thank my wonderful patrons. Patrons, your support not only funds the creation of new monthly stories, but it tells me that you enjoy my books so much that you want to support them and me directly. If you, dear listener, would like to join our Patreon family, you can do so over at patreon.com forward slash Labs. I create a brand new short story or part of a novella every single month. So for uh, October, I released the last part in the Silver Flame Dragon, which is a prequel novella to Dragon Kingdom. And you can gain access to that entire library of Patreon exclusives for just $3 a month. Feel free to stop and start your membership as you like. Um, but in that library, you will find an alternate spicy epilogue to Warrior Witch from Gabriel's perspective and about 17 other unpublished Witches of Mountain Shadow stories. Again, that's patreon.com forward slash Tara Benner Labs. All right, this week's featured book is the Elven Blade Dragon Kingdom Book One. King Eldritch's army won the Elven War. The surviving elves and their magical allies have been hunted to near extinction. Storia is a half-elf who can pass for a human. She's quick with a sword, even quicker with her wit, and desperate to avoid a betrothal. When a dragon presents her with a sentient elven sword, Storia thinks she can sell the blade to pay her father's debts and avoid marriage altogether. The sword has its own motives. When it urges her to steal a dragon egg that's been sold in a black market auction, Storia finds herself on the run from a powerful lord and his hired swords, including a handsome mercenary, a curmudgeonly dwarf, and a soft-spoken giant. To keep the egg out of the hands of those who seek to destroy it, Storia must outwit the mercenary and his ruffians without revealing the truth of her bloodline. I am so excited to announce that the Elven Blade is officially out. It is available exclusively from the bookshop at terabunner.com right now. You can download the ebook there for Kindle, iOS, Android, Nook, whatever e-reader you, you use. Um, you can even load the book onto multiple e-readers if you'd like, something you cannot do if you, you know, buy the book from the retailer who shall not be named. Um, you can also pre-order the paperback from my site. I will put a link to that down in the show notes. Okay, it's time for my little life update that I do each and every week. And apologies in advance if you hear some uh, maniacal cackling in the background. That would be my 14-month-old. Uh, usually, I record this podcast in the morning when he is taking his nap. Um, but today was a day we all went to the big city. And so <laughs> I did not get to do that. So I'm recording at night. And I am fueled by gin rather than coffee. <laughs> so... <laughs> That might also explain some things if uh, the podcast sounds a little different than usual. Um, anyway, as I said, I have a 14-month-old and he is particularly wild and crazy right now in this moment of our lives. Um, it's a lot of fun. His greatest joy in life is pulling all the stuff out of our kitchen cabinets, pushing the furniture around. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we try to go outside a lot because um, that's the only way to exercise the tiny demon that is residing inside him. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, but it's really fun. He's just in a really sweet phase right now. And he knows like five words, maybe seven, if you're using like a general interpretation of like the word word. Uh, so he knows mama, dada, nana, which is banana, una, which is Luna, my little mini Australian shepherd, and nene, which is Nelson. Uh, he also says two other phrases that we have no idea what they mean, 
but he says one very consistently when he pulls a book off his bookshelf and he says the other one when he's excited about feeding Luna. Um, yeah, he he's officially learned how to feed Luna. And so now my mini Australian Shepherd is going to weigh 300 pounds <laughs> because he just wants to feed all his crackers and Cheerios to the dog. Um, uh, he also started doing this thing that's really cute. Um, so I have, we have this set of walkie talkies that we got because we live out in the boonies on 40 acres. And um, one of the walkie talkies has this little like flashlight on it. And I would turn the light on and make like cop car sounds, like siren noises. And so now, like whenever the light is on, he'll take it and he'll like move it around. He'll go, wee, wee, wee. <laughs> so it's just, it's a really sweet time. It's a lot of fun. It's tiring, but it's like totally worth it. Um, but yeah, mom life and rider life is basically all I've been doing as of late. Uh, which brings me into my writing updates. So as I mentioned before, the Elven Blade is out. We actually had the uh, release this week. Um, as I have talked about consistently on the podcast, I just released it on uh, my website uh, to start with, and that has gone really well. I've been very encouraged and excited by all the readers who um, just come to my bookshop and get it. It's um, it's great because I feel like I have a much more personal connection to those people. Like I'll see the orders come in, I'll recognize names like people who I talk to on Facebook or people who have been longtime subscribers to my newsletter and I can shoot them an email with like the cool map and it's just, it just feels really personal and kind of like like I'm hand stamping everything, <laughs> even though it's a digital product, you know, it's like, it still feels much more personal. And uh, actually, if you're listening to this podcast on Friday, the day it comes out, this is actually the last day that you can go to my bookshop and buy the book and receive the high res download of the world map. As I mentioned, this beautiful map that I had commissioned, hand drawn, for the series. Um, I put it in the front of the ebook and the paperback, but it just, it does not do it justice because it's so small, which is why I wanted to send readers the parchment download. It's like on parchment paper. You can zoom in to see all the little towns. It's very cool. I'm obsessed with the map. So please go grab it um, from my site. And if you're listening to this podcast late and you're like, oh, like I didn't quite make it, send me an email. Um, Tarabenner at gmail.com, Tara with an H, and I'll send it to you anyway, just because I like you and you listen to the podcast. So <laughs> uh, what else have I been doing this week? I have been getting the Silver Flame Dragon all ready to go. That, as I said, was um, a patron exclusive for a while, and I am going to be giving it away to my newsletter subscribers as a gift. Uh, I got it edited. I got a cover for it. And I was thinking about doing something fun with the paperbacks. Like I kind of want to give some of those away just as a thank you. We'll see what I end up doing with those, um, but they're really pretty and I'm excited. Um, I've had some issues with the uh, Elven Blade paperbacks, which I've been fighting with this week. Um, ever since Amazon KDP took over Create Space and kind of made it one thing, there's been a lot more glitches with the paperbacks and there was an issue um, with the proof copy I received. And so I've been kind of going back and forth with Amazon, going back and forth with my designers. And so the paperbacks are shipping out a little bit later than I wanted, but they will be there and um, they're really still awesome. Even the kind of messed up proof I received, they're looking really cool. So I'm excited about that. Um... I have begun outlining Dragon Kingdom book two. Um, I don't know, I don't know when the book is going to be out because these high fantasy stories are much more complex. They're longer than the other books that I write, and I want the world to feel really rich and realistic. Like you could just step into it, and you can immerse yourself in that world. And um, that just takes time. It takes time. It takes imagination. And so 
I'm not going to be rushing the next one. I'm not going to get it out as quickly as um, some of my other stuff has come out. And um, that's just so that I can make sure it's a really fantastic book. But I think I'm going to try to get it on pre-order as soon as possible. So I'm going to get a cover design for that and um, probably have it available for pre-order sometime early November, hopefully. So that once you read the Elven Blade, if you love it, you can pre-order the book and you don't have to worry that you're going to like forget about it or not know when it comes out. It'll just be delivered to you. So yeah, that's kind of what's been percolating. I Later this month, I'm going to be working on a brand new project for patrons that I'm really excited about. Um, all I will say about that is that it takes place in the Witches of Mountain Shadow universe. So I've already started planning that. Um, but yeah, this week has been a lot of launch stuff, a lot of marketing. I'm going to be running a really big sale at the end of October, the All Hallows Eve Eve sale. Um, And so that'll be fun. If you're not on my email newsletter, please make sure you sign up because I just send you awesome things. And I'm not organized enough to send a newsletter more than like twice a month. So (laughs) you're rarely going to get one more often than that. So it's just I talk about new releases. I let you know about sales that I'm running on backlist books. And so do make sure you sign up. I'll put a link to that down in the show notes. That's it for my writing update. Now it's time for what am I reading this week? And I am still on my spicy werewolf romance kick. Uh, I am currently reading Alpha's Danger by Lee Savino. I am just like addicted to her books. Uh, She actually, it's not just by Lee Savino, it's Lee Savino and Renee Rose. They co-write the Bad Boy Alphas series together. And I haven't read any of their individual titles, but together they are just magic. They are so great at characterization and the books are funny, sexy, like it's a lot to love if you love spicy werewolf romance, (laughs) which I know is very niche, but um, yeah. And I am still listening to Cry Wolf by Patricia Briggs. Um, That is about all I have this week. But before we go, let's check the mailbox. And this week we have a comment on the YouTube version of the Blood Ties audiobook. And this comment comes from Clem. Clem writes, this is my third listen. This is such an enjoyable story. I love the mood of this universe, the characters, and how you narrated it. Uh, will Blood Ties ever be available again as paperback? Um, yes. So just for Clem, I went and republished the paperback version of Blood Ties. The reason I had pulled those paperbacks down was because Blood Ties is a newsletter exclusive, and I really wanted it to continue to be a newsletter exclusive, meaning you can only get that if you sign up for my reader newsletter. Um, but I do realize that people have favorite stories and when you have a favorite book you want it in paperback and so I did cave and republish the paperbacks of Blood Ties just for you Clem Uh, (laughs) and yeah so I've gotten a lot of really kind feedback on the Witches of Mountain Shadow series this week and the spinoff series is still in the works and so if that's something that you've been wondering about or looking forward to It is very much at the forefront of my mind. Um, I may even try to squeeze a book in before Dragon Kingdom 2. I'm not promising that. I'm not committing to anything um, because I really have to write what I'm excited about. And I want to make sure that I give each book, each series, like the love and attention it deserves. But that is still happening. So if you're waiting for the Witches of Mountain Shadow spinoff, Yes, it is coming um, at least by 2024. You will see some books in that series. So that's about it. If you have any questions or comments you would like for me to read on the show, you can send them to tarabenner at gmail.com or you can post them on any of my social media channels. I am at author Tara Benner on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I am actually Tara Benner author on YouTube. Please 
like the video, subscribe to my channel um, because I'm so close. I'm like 50 people away from a thousand subscribers. And so I'm excited. That's all I have for you this week, but feel free to stay in my cabin as long as you like. We can have some more gin and tonics, although I probably shouldn't. <laughs> you can crack open a good book, hopefully one of mine, and have a wonderful weekend.